I like to do a complete tutorial on how to adjust your skid shoes. You can find this in the manual. Um, it says the correct depth and everything. I'm gonna use actually two quarters today. I'll show you how to do it. Two quarters stacked. Got two quarters. That's the thickness of 1.75 times two, three and a half millimeters. So it calls for. You're gonna need four quarters, a level. I got a level from like dollar store. You can get anything. I'm gonna use this impact driver from Makita. Uh, it's 12, that's the bit. Then I got the ratchet, that's for like tightening. I don't wanna over tighten. Um, a tape measure, just to make sure. And I'm gonna get this, a 12 millimeter um, Craftsman wrench. I'll show you what to do. I'm just gonna loosen all these bolts here. There you go. There's two. So you just want all these loose kind of. You want a level surface too. So I got the level. Now you want to loosen these back here. I'm going to loosen this off camera. There's two of them. That's just going to be resting in the back. I'll show you afterwards. It's hard to get to. I'm going to use the socket. Loosen it. That's loose. That's loose too. Both are loose. And you want that one too? Let me just remove the other one. You want to put two quarters underneath on each end. I put it, I'll show you after. Two quarters. Two quarters. So you got it like that. So it's like this, on one side, two quarters, the other side, oop, two quarters. So you got, you got a three and a half millimeter gap right there. That's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten, I'm just gonna tighten with this again. I don't wanna do the impact, it's too much. I'm just gonna hand tighten so it doesn't strip the bolts. Hand tighten both sides. Make sure it's sitting right. Hand tight on this side. Grass. Just gonna hand tighten everything. So you got that even gap there. As long as the scraper's nice and level, which I it didn't have any you know effect before. 
And that's that's good. I'm gonna hand tight in the back too. You can see on the back that these move up and down. See how they move up and down? I'm just gonna sit it flush so it's not like digging in. Just hand tight in it. I'm just gonna set the camera back down. It's difficult. Hold on. We're gonna hand tighten everything back. That's tight. That's tight. Okay. So we got everything tightened. Make sure your corners are back. Here, we'll do it better over here. Actually, it's better over here. So you got the quarters. Quarters are still underneath. You got that nice gap of three and a half millimeters there. That gives you 116, 216, 364, about 516 inch from uh, bottom of scraper to bottom of floor. That's what it calls for on the manual. So that's perfect. Now we're just gonna tighten the ratchets. Use one side. It's kind of a pain because you gotta have to make sure it's down. Okay. That's tight. Okay. That's tight. So you got a nice tight. Got that quarter gap right there. Cool. Cool. Okay, that's tight. You can see the quarters are still there as I adjusted it. So you got that three and a half millimeter gap, as they say. And I'm gonna tighten the back again. I like to use the ratchet instead of the impact. You don't want to go too tight. Okay, that's tight. That's tight. Okay, so that's basically it. I'll show you the bottom of it. Let me just take you out of the camera. So on the manual, it calls for, let's see here. Oops, sorry. Scraper blade. So this shows it 3.30 seconds to 5.30 seconds. So augers, 5.30 seconds to 5.16. See the blade, the bottom of the blade, five, I got 5 16th inch from bottom of the blade to level four. So that's perfect. Scraper, I got three and a half millimeters of the quarters. So that's perfect too. I'm just gonna take the quarters off. Let me see here. doing the quarter trick the paint sticks are a little thicker i think than the quarters okay so if you look underneath you can see a nice even gap all the way down you can see it nice even gap 
because this wasn't really scraped or anything. It's basically new. If you take two quarters, you should be able to fit it underneath too. Let's see. Yeah, it's tight, but it fits. See? Okay. So you got that thickness right there. And then, so you should be good to go. I tighten everything. This just sits flat on the back. These are like kind of uh, backup skids kind of. So this just sits flat on the back. My fronts are gonna be the pre-dom skids, but make sure when you tighten that this is flat on the ground. Um, also make sure, I forgot to tell you about the tire pressure. Make sure it's uh, even on both sides. Now let's check if it is level or not. Snowblower. Yep, snowblower is level. So that's good. I think we're good to go. Look at that. So we got the gap between the, the bottom of the skid plate to the level four is three and a half millimeters. And then from the bottom of the uh, blade to the bottom of the floor is five sixteenths inches, which is eight, about eight millimeters. So that's perfect. Thanks for watching and hope you subscribe.